So, welcome back everybody to Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. We have cleared Shovel Knight's campaign, and for this stream, we are going to start the next campaign. Here we go, let's start. So first we gotta select a new folder, let's go and get a new game! So we did Shovel of Hope, which is Shovel Knight's storyline, now we're going to the Plague of Shadows, which is Plague Knight's uh, campaign, as the name implies. Toss bombs in this tricky alternate quest. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be a good one. Here we go. Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows. My personal favorite of the Shovel Knight campaign, so I am looking forward to this. No, I, it's only... it's already with one Y. Not two. <laughs> hey, Valuer Inputs! Welcome! Hope you're having a fantastic evening and you're just in time for the start of Plague of Shadows. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. But villainy ran rampant, and in time, even the most stalwart heroes fell. Hey, Mobius, welcome. Uh, not quite a sequel, no. Just a different campaign. In the absence of champions, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter swept into power. Unbeknownst to everyone, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. A draft so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Each knight unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. <laughs> yeah, so, the, so originally, originally there was just Shovel Knight's campaign. There were three different ones added as free DLC later on, and Plague Knights was the first one added. Uh-oh! The boss is on his way! We gotta get back to the lab fast! I don't want to get experimented on! Just hold B to charge and bomb burst out of here! Come on, hurry up! Time for research! <laughs> so now we play as Plague Knight, and he plays very differently from Shovel Knight. He can't shovel things, instead he's gotta toss bombs. He also can double jump, and if you hold the bomb button, we can dash through the air. Plague Knight's a pretty polarizing character to play as. Because he plays totally differently, people either love him or hate him. And I think most people dislike his playstyle more than Shovel Knight's. The green coins are Cypher Coins, there should be around 30 on each stage that we should keep our eye out for. I personally love Plague Knight's playstyle. It's tricky to use him, but once you, like, master him, he is really fun to use. He also gets a lot of really good equipment. So as you can see, we're basically playing for the same levels that Shovel Knight did, but just with a different- a, a character who can- controls completely differently. Like, normally a Shovel Knight would have to pogo through here, but we just got a Bomb Burst. So I kind of like going to the old stages and playing them in a different way than previously. Health Tonic! A full bag of tonics to upgrade your max health. Just open up the menu and drink them down. Alright, gain a health bubble until you fall in battle. This is basically temporary meal tickets, in a way. Okay. Let's unequip all that. I want to drink them right away. We can get more pretty easily, so... Whee! Hey, R.S. Hey, no worries. Also, Plague Knight uh, gets knocked back a lot more than Shovel Knight does, as you can see. But what's nice is the temporary health upgrades aren't like the ones in Breath of the Wild, where as soon as you take damage, you lose that maximum health container. You only lose the maximum health containers when you actually die.
Like that. That was my bad. Whoops. Probably shouldn't have drank all of those health tonics then. Because as you can see, we're back to 4 HP now. That's okay. Better to die at the very beginning, I guess. It's, it's easy to accidentally knock Plague Knight off a cliff, because he does control kind of weirdly. Oh look! There we go, another health tonic. And you can only hold, I think, five or ten health tonics at a time anyways, so you don't really want to hoard them. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good to just hoard them. I like the more fast-paced, hectic playstyle of Plague Knight, though. But it definitely does take some getting used to. Hey, we're also getting the uh, music sheets. Woohoo! And for those who are wondering, this campaign takes place at the exact same time that Shovel Knights does. We can also use the bombers to destroy things that are near us. Oh boy, we still have the turkeys. That's what I wanted. Let us go and experiment! <laughs> Plus, Plague Knight's just the coolest looking of the Order of No Quarter. I love the Plague Doctor masks. This... Okay, this part is kind of evil. That's a very precise jump to make. I think you're supposed to bomb the beetle with, like lob the bombs at him and land at, on the platform at the same time, but that is really difficult to do. I may have picked the Plague Doctor mask in uh, Among Us because of Plague Knight. It's just so cool that like Plague Knight can get for the same stuff that Shovel Knight does, ju using just completely different uh, things at his disposal. This is also new. You can blow these up. Bottoms up! Aha! I would love to eat that carrot. Aha! Oh. And we're back at the beginning of the game, which means I need money again. <laughs> it means I need that money. And like I said, Plague Knight also gets a huge amount of upgrades. Massive compared to Shovel Knight, so... If you don't like the way he plays right now, well... Oh no, you don't! Uh, uh, I did that's one of those times where Plague Knight is hard to control. I could go too far to the left and fall, or too far to the right and fall. That's also where Plague Knight's naturally lightweight nature means he gets knocked off cliffs very easily. There we go. Uh, I was going to say I'm just going to skedaddle past it, but no, I'm not. Oh, you butt! The dino kept knocking me into the pit. Oh, 
No, you don't. Are you serious? Oh, I can't wait to get the armor that let that reduces knockback. That's like essential for Plague Knight, pretty much. And that reason alone almost makes New Game Plus easier, just because you can start with that armor. There we go. I just really wanted that extra money. Alright, here we are. We're making good progress now. Never let a little dragon get in the way of success. Sometimes opening chests can be a little bit difficult. That's not too bad. No, oh, cool. And here we are. There we go. Drink a little more health tonic. Listen to me, Magicist! I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion! Ultimate... what? I haven't seen him since he fled to join the Order of No Quarter. Ah, uh, alchemical trickery! You can't fool me! I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you! What? Me? What are you insinuating? Oh! Someone's coming! Oh, it's the panicky pushover! It's winning... is winning the, magici the Magicist's heart worth betraying your allies? <laughs> what? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know how you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the order, but none threaten the Enchantress and live. Alright, Black Knight. You're gonna be a lot easier as Plague Knight, because you can't really do much against my bombs. Alright, maybe you can. Just kind of get him in a corner and then jump and chuck bombs at him. You can only have three bombs on screen at once, but easy peasy. <laughs> I love the little dance Plague Knight does at the end. <laughs> oh, th that dance is everything. Plane's clear, and we got all 30 of the Cypher Coins. Alright, let's head to the village. Halt! No weapons allowed! Wait a minute! Let's just pretend I don't recognize you, and you go safely on your merry way. This doesn't have to get messy. And don't show your creepy bird face around here again, freak! Halt! Maybe you didn't hear me through that mask. Yeah, we're not allowed in the village. We already had this conversation, pal. You're not supposed to be here. Now get lost before I lose my patience. Just because a guy wears a plague doctor mask, everybody treats him like some kind of outcast. <laughs> we actually go to this part of town. Psst! Hey, Plague Knight. I'm still guarding your secret entrance, but I lost the key. The locksmith should be here in a week or two. Maybe you could wait until then? No. Who do you think I am? I am Plague Knight! I'll blow this house to smithereens! <laughs> well, that was easy. Well, I guess I'm canceling the locksmith appointment. <sighs> this was the house I grew up in. Well, sorry, but, you know, duty calls. Woohoo! Music sheet. 
<laughs> and I love this part. <laughs> it's Shovel Knight! <laughs> we get to see Shovel Knight heading for the village. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Mona! We have a big, uh, problem on our hands! We've been found out! Oh, the Black Knight thing? Yeah, Magicist filled me in. Don't worry your beak. That fool has nothing on us. Look, all we need to worry about is who's final. those final ingredients. We're stuck languishing here in obscurity until then. Yes, <laughs> the essences! I shall pay our friends a little visit and, uh, <laughs> borrow them! Right, and while you're doing that, I'll keep researching ways to get more... Bane for our buck. Know what they say, the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist! Yes, <laughs> let's get to work! Down we go, to the secret lab! Whoa! <laughs> These lifts never cease to both amuse and nauseate! <laughs> Truly a dizzying display of technology. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the Potionatorium. So, what are we working on? Let's shop! Oh, yeah, so he has the secret lab underneath the town. I love it. Lob casing! It arcs uh, bombs into the air before they crash down. Yeah, that's a good one to have. Gives you more flexibility. We can also get new powder for our bomb. So, like, the casing determines how the bombs move, the powder determines how they explode, and the fuse determines when they blow up. So, we got tracer powder, produces wall-climbing flames when they blow up, two bombs max. Cascade powder, produces waves of fire in both directions, only one bomb max. The lone fuse blows up after a long time after throwing. Yeah, we'll get the lone fuse. And then the burst determines our bomb burst. Float burst! Float slowly to the ground and then press down on the D-pad to fall again. Rats, we can't buy anything else. Alright, thank you, Mona! There's more stuff in here as well. I packed up your special delivery! Want to take a look and settle the bill? Yes. Bait bomb! Toss into a sparkling pit and see what flies up. It's, it's Plague Knight's version of the fishing pole. Yes, please! <laughs> Thanks, bro! And hey, the Magicist is simultaneously here and in the village with Shovel Knight. Try to figure that out. Oh, hello, Plague Knight. Black Knight tried to interrogate me, but I think I threw him off the trail. Whether it's business or... personal, don't worry. Your secrets are safe with me, Plague Knight. Anyway, yes. Of course, uh, you'd like potions, would you? Yes, please. Health Tonic Max. Buy the max number of health tonics you can hold. Or an Alchemy Power Upgrade. Increase the, your Alchemy Power Bar for more Arcania use. No, we can't afford those, really. Oh, yes, it's best character. Oh, Plague Knight, my good friend. A moment of your time. <sighs> How can I help you, Percy? I've run out of paper, and I can't fit any more ballistic formulae in my hoof. I'm in desperate need. <laughs> Do you need glue as well? I know how we can make some. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, but uh, just the paper will do. And by the way, you're looking a bit forlorn lately. Maybe I'll repay your kindness with some love advice. Okay. My ally, that's four sheets of paper you've brought me. Five hundred gold for each. Yes. W what is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation scribbled all over it. On both sides. There's nowhere for me to write. Useless. Into the trash bin it goes. Why do I even put up with this simpleton? Plague Knight, are you calling people simps again? You know Twitch doesn't like that. Ah, everyone works so hard down here. Yes, and Oolong want to help. Can help. Can make musics. But got tired. Fell asleep. Went awake. Forgot almost all the musics. So sad. Poor Oolong. We'll think very hard. Maybe remember more musics. Then I help. I help science. Thanks, Ulam. Ooh, Cypher Coins. <laughs> hey, thanks! <laughs> we get a musical note just for bowling up Ulam's weird... head. He's the, his, he's the version of the bard for Plague Knight. Brilliant! You've brought a sheet of paper! 500 gold! Sharps, flats, time signatures! What's all this? Nah, yeah, I'll just write on the back. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot! As I promised, a fitting reward! A romance tip from Sir Percival! Love can easily be distilled. It all comes down to having the proper chemistry. Is that really all there is to it? Hmm. Man, I love the music in here. <laughs> Such good hub music. Hey, Mona. 
So, what are we working on? Research! Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cypher coins for material. I don't have that. Fine. Don't want firepower? I mean, it's your choice and all. <laughs> what are we working on? Alright, well... Alright, guys. We can only buy one. Should we buy tracer powder? Cascade powder? Or the float burst? I'm cool with any of these. Honestly, I pretty much have all the equipment now that I need for the most of the rest of the game. <laughs> Proxima votes for the float burst. That's a good one. A little slower, but much safer. We have a vote for Cascade Powder. Anybody else? Otherwise, I'll have to be the tiebreaker. Nope. Alright. I'm, I'm buying the float burst then. It's a bit more useful. Alright. We'll equip float burst. So if we equip the lob casing, you can see we're throwing the bombs upwards instead of downwards. They're also detonating a bit longer after I throw them. It means we can't throw them as rapidly. But it also means that it's more likely to hit stuff. And then this is the new bomb burst. Thanks, Mona. Alright. Oh, let's head over to the Travel Pond. There's definitely nothing here, boss. I did my most furrow check. Should we move on? Uh... I genuinely did not realize that would happen. I actually feel really bad about that. I was trying to fish in the lake, but wow. No, Plague Knight's a terrible boss. He's just like, I don't want to hear it. Die. Die, you stupid cur. Wow. Okay. I I did not mean to kill that guy. Truly. I literally just wanted to fish in the Tropple Pond, but oh well. I guess we'll head off to Pride More Keep, Layer of King Knight. For science? Woo! So yeah, this should pretty much be the same as Shovel Knight's story, but... With maybe a little twist or two. Bait bomb off a cliff. Yay! Money fish. Alright, I'm actually going back to... I like the basic burst for the speed. <laughs> All about that speed. Okay, I'm not drinking the health tonics unless... I kind of need them. It's the best kind of fish. Now remember, 30 Cypher coins on every main stage in the game, so... I, f I didn't keep track of how many we got in the town, though, so that's going to be fun. Woo! A potion. Woo! Have to move reasonably... Yeah, well, you know, if I have any tricky jumps to make, then I can equip the float burst. That's the great thing about Plague Knight. He can just change his equipment. Also, is there quick swap? Oh! There is quick swap! That's really cool. I didn't think there was. There definitely was... Well, I guess for the Wii U version, the quick swap was you you use the touch screen. That's really cool, though. Also, what I like about the Arcana, which is basically Plague Knight's relics, you can basically use them as much as you want. The meter for using them will just gradually replenish. Oh, that just clonked me right in the face. Wow. <laughs> okay, I don't need money that much. This is just going to give me some pearls. Not worth it. And this is also... 
an example, there are parts of each level that uh, only Plague Knight can reach. So we'll actually be going to places in the level that Shovel Knight never went to. Which, that's cool. I like that. That's at least a little bit of variety. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that was a little close, but we did it. We get the Flare Wand! A worthless relic! Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. <laughs> Plague Knight has no use for dumb relics. No siree. Don't worry, I know a guy who might be interested in it. Think you can hide the cipher coins for me just by hiding it on a green background? How stupid do you think I am? Now, does this just lead back to the light? Yeah, it does. Beat it, chump! Oh man, these checkpoints don't give me anything good. The Plague Knight speedrun uh, feat is really fun to do. No moving platforms, we got a bomb burst across, and this is funny. Okay, so it's the Shovel Knight outline. We are not Shovel Knight, but we can make do. <laughs> Doggone it, I love this game. Uh oh. It's the blue chest! It's Chester! Poured in a beaker or stuffed in a bag, Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more... interesting. Yes, we can trade the flare wand for the big boom, a potent explosion with a far-reaching radius. Jamie wants a big boom. <laughs> yes, hold up on the D-pad, press B. Oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> I love the big boom. And I'm sure Plague Knight does, too. <laughs> Why the heck would I not want bombs? You guys learned my Oracle of Ages randomizer. I really like bombs. that. <laughs> Boom, baby! Literally. <laughs> Not enough cash, stranger. And here we go. But honestly, the rapid bombs are oftentimes a better bet. Just because rapid bombs deal rapid damage. It's voila! I feel like we're not getting as much cash here in Plague Knight's story as we were in uh, Shovel Knight's campaign. Okay, no, there's nothing worthwhile going up this way. You never know if they're going to hide cipher coins behind these banners, though. Okay, we've reached the max amount of health tonics, so we may as well chug a couple. Ooh, look at that max HP bar. <laughs> Dale and Stephanie both have joined chat. Welcome. We're just, you know, bombing some griffins. Pretty typical, <laughs> pretty typical Wednesday evening for me. <laughs> Oh, okay.
Dude, that quick swap is everything. And it freezes time, too, when you do that. Oh, that's great. I generally default to bounce casing, because bounce casing can pretty much do everything you want. And it's fast. <laughs> well, I'm I'm prepared for that. Boom, boom, boom. Ugh. There we go. Gotta find every last piece of money. You know, Artie's very, very greedy. <laughs> I need that money. Gotta have it. I gotta have it for research purposes. Uh, please understand. <laughs> if Plague Knight doesn't find the cure for cancer, who will? You think Treasure Knight's going to do that? Treasure Knight will just invest everything into Bitcoin. That's how he made his first fortune, and that's how he's going to lose it in the end. Ha ha! <laughs> Little trick there. That was a good moment for the big boom, I think. <laughs> These guys can be obnoxious. Oh, I see that Cypher coin up there. If I could have chosen which knights would I have made, been made playable, um... The three knights that I would have chosen for as the playable characters would have been Plague Knight, Specter Knight, and Tinker Knight. Or alter. I know he's not a member of the Order of No Quarter, but uh, if I could, I would have loved Mr. Hat to be a playable character as well. I feel like Tinker Knight could have had a really cool playstyle of like building contraptions to help him out. But I got two out of my three preferred knights, and I gotta say, King Knight's campaign was a lot better than I thought it would be. Honestly, the only knight choice that I would have been kind of like, really, you chose that one, would be Mole Knight. So yeah, Mole Knight exists. <laughs> I don't think he would have been particularly interesting, but... You know, I could, I could be proven wrong on that. <laughs> oh, no, but... That's the problem. Sometimes your bomb bursts carry you a little bit farther than what you want. This is why I did not blow up the checkpoint. And honestly, we can skip most of these book platforms anyways. Yes, I will go back for my money. Ooh, all these lovely health tonics. It's the beginning of the game. Heck yeah, I need money. Lob casing's a lot better for this guy.
Wonderful. I wonder. Okay, nope. I didn't think so, but... Let's preemptively get out the big boom. Wait! Oh, that's right. I'm like, where did all my health go? Plague Knight, you double-crossing constable of crucibles! Hee hee hee! Having fun in your little kingdom? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I meant kingdom! Oh, this lavish lifestyle is in my blood, peon! Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch! As the embodiment of opulence, I demand tribute! <laughs> Let's have that essence! I think I'll take that nice crown, too! Oh, okay, Knight, you're you're gonna die real fast. Bye bye. <laughs> he didn't even get to use his confetti attack. <laughs> Sorry, K Knight, I'll be taking this. Uh, yeah, I will be streaming next Monday. Naturally. Drop the essence into my dynamo decanter here. Essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once those essences are all distilled together, if my research is correct, then we can craft the ultimate potion. Kane Knight's essence is ours! And I discovered that his crown isn't even real gold! <laughs> I knew it. Pretender indeed. Well, let's count down to business, then. So, what are we working on? Let's do the research. Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cypher coins for materials. Yes, ma'am! Yep, that'll do it. Okay, stand back as I test my hypotheses. Take a gander at your new arsenal. <laughs> Ooh, now we get Float Casing! Floats up and away when thrown. Yeah, I like the casings. We also have Component Powder! Keep throwing in, uh, in bombs to make a bigger boom. Three bombs maximum. Quick Fuse! Blows up almost immediately when thrown. Sentry Fuse! Hovers in place before seeking out targets. Bullet Burst! Fires a blast in front of you when launching. Okay, I want to get Cascade Powder. Because that can be just nice to have. Rats! Not quite enough for Component Powder. Yet... I generally don't stream on the major holidays. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is not a major holiday. My ally, that's two sheets of paper you brought me! 500 gold for each! What is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation on both sides! Ah, <laughs> uh, when your alchemy power bar is orange, you'll have a blowout on the next cast. When it's red, you're blown out! Don't worry, boss. I'll keep walking back and forth here just like you asked. <laughs> Who knows what the Magicist is helping us for? She's really risking her neck. I won't forget our marker for the secret areas. Cypher coins embedded in the walls. What are you carrying there? It's been great offloading all my work. I mean, cooperating with Mona! She really knows her stuff! Hello, Master. I have another letter for you. Let me read it. Ahem. <clears throat> I see your actions. Yes, behold, you've spent 38 minutes, 3 seconds, questioning, and collected 15,118 gold. You've tossed 693 bombs and bomb bursted 254 times. You're quite scary, but your losses in battle are number 6, so be wary. Lastly, 16 is the number of tonics you've quaffed. You're so sincerely, Grandma Swamp. What the? Do you know this person? She's gotta be a witch. Are correct. All right, Mona. Let's go and buy. Oh, let's buy the component powder as well. And that way we can show them off. So for first float casing, we throw bubbles down a little bit, and then they go really high up. Then we've got the cascade powder. Then component powder. Bigger boom! 
biggest boom. <laughs> I still like the generic black powder the best, though. I'm a, I'm a simple man. I like default. Ooh, generic enemy in the village. Never fear, villagers! I shall protect you! <laughs> You should never be afraid when Plague Knight is here to save the day. Oh no, my emerald! <laughs> that was bad. My ruby almost fell. See ya. Oh, we can also head to the forest of fishing now. As you may have anticipated, we'll be using bait bombs here. Wow, there's a bunch of cypher coins down these pits, but it's a long way down. If only you could fish them up. Stand back! Well, he was in my way. So I think on these mini-levels, we get... Uh, there's like 20 Cypher Coins. These are also generally a lot longer than Shovel Knight's little side areas. So I believe we'll end this stage with 44 Cypher Coins. Okay, we do not want to blow up that platform on top. That's going to make this part a little more dangerous. Oh, really? Is it buffering for anybody else? Because on my end, it's, it's streaming just fine. OBS is streaming at a very nice... Like, 1,600 per second. Why, thank you for that! This is a really fun stage. Thanks, sucker! Hehe! <laughs> Also, I love the Plague Knight voice. He doesn't have a canon voice, but I anticipate it would probably sound something like this. Wow. There's some cool puzzles involving with these bait bombs. I like it. Gotta throw two down there or else you won't have enough. It also helps you don't really have to worry about your magic meter because it'll just recharge automatically. Doesn't stop them from giving you a butt ton of magic though. Out of my way, bro. Oh, there should only be four Cypher Coins left. Uh-oh. Did I miss one? <laughs> oh boy, five more Health Tonics. Did I freaking miss a Cypher Coin somewhere?
Oh shoot, I can't go back. Great. Great. Unless there's still more out here, but I don't think so. Nope! I don't think you can check the number of coins you've gotten on each level either, can you? There we go, 19 out of 20. We missed one. Oh, brother. Really? YouTube, get the bots under control. Good lord. Every stream I do on YouTube. Really? Get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little hard to deal with the YouTube bots on Twitch. It's because YouTube is not very good in a lot of ways. So I already fished all those out. I fished this one out too, right? Oh my gosh. I just missed that one. That's it. Oh hey, all the gold respawned! That's great. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh no, my money! Uh, Mobius, that's because we had a, uh, a bot on YouTube come by and I had to ban it. Mobius, you act you act so surprised. You know you know of my greed. You know of my heinous deeds. Okay, we're gonna deal with this guy before we try getting our money back. There we go. I am not a crab. How dare you? That's what I get for trying to platform and read chat at the same time. I need cash now. The economy is still not getting that much better, so I always could use a little extra cash. We've got to have money. JG Wentworth? I don't recognize that off the top of my head. Cascade Powder is useful for dealing with some of those more vile characters. Oh boy. I should have drank some of those before consuming them. Oh well. Oh, and OBS disconnected. Well, I guess it disconnected at a pretty good time. I am in between stages. That was just a slight hiccup, but we're back. I didn't do anything. 
we've gotten all the Cypher Coins on all of the stages up to this point. I think at this point, then, we should head to the Lich Yard Lair of Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight stage is interesting as Plague Knight. You don't even really have to bother interacting with a lot of the earlier stage gimmicks that Shovel Knight did just because of our superior platforming. Oh, the combo! Game did not crash. OBS had a hiccup for like two seconds, but we're back. What do you mean? I am streaming on Twitch. Everything reconnected. Nice try. Yeah, I think Spectre Knight stage is probably a lot easier as Plague Knight. Again, if you've if you've gotten the hate of Plague Knight controls. That guy's also a lot easier to So many of these enemies are way easier to deal with as Plague Knight because he can just chuck bombs at him from a distance. It's a secret area! Get out of here, electric frogs. I don't want to deal with you. The phase locket! A worthless relic! Maybe someone else will want this rubbish. <laughs> uh, Spectre Knight... Oof, that was close. Spectre Knight would not be happy to hear you call the phase locket rubbish. That's what I was looking for. So the platform goes underwater. Both of the skulls disappear, but then it rises back up. Wouldn't the skulls rise back up as well? <laughs> Phase lock, it's only like the best relic in the game. Plague Knight's like, <laughs> no it's not! It's terrible! You can't blow it up, uh, blow stuff up with it at all! <laughs> Alright, let's get launched back into the stratosphere! I think this is my favorite combination. Basic Burst, Bounce Casing, Black Powder, and the Lone Fuse. Basically lets you just take care of everything. I know it's very basic, but eh, I don't care. I'll use other <laughs> bombs when I need to. Or when it'll help me out. Oh, did! 
It's also very easy to miss cipher coins on the dark parts of the levels. <laughs> I remember that Bob Ross quote. <laughs> Little shortcut. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like the coloration in the music on this level. I just don't like where it turns the lights out. Oh no. I can't believe I did that room deathless as both Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. Use bombs wisely! That was bad. Oh well. This is why I'm not breaking the checkpoints. Right after I chugged my magic. Is this just gonna be Fiend? It's like, you chugged all your health fulfilling potions. Now you die. No, no, no you don't! Get out of here, you stupid frog. Apparently not. I almost got squished. Yeah, I hear a stupid frog. I hate the lightning frogs. They're obnoxious. Hey, Chester! Poured in a beaker or stuffed in a bag, Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal! You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. Yes, the Leech Liquid! Replenish your energy by damaging enemies. I'll trade you the phase locket for that! Yeah! <laughs> Takes all of our magic instead of just one of our magic. Don't matter, though. We get HP refills every time we bomb enemies. For a short period of time. Of course, it would help more if we, uh, you know had higher max HP. Higher maximum Harry Potter. Ooh, a music note. How wonderful. Percy will love that. He loves writing his love poetry on that. Ha ha! S 
Such a small secret. But small secrets are worth discovering too, everybody. Yum, yum, yum! I caught a fish! We're doing alright on Spectre Knight stage. Not as good as Shovel Knight, who did it deathless, but... I think that was a fluke anyways. Just going fishing. Just like Max and Goofy. And that is what the power of knowing how to control Plague Knight can do for you. Bombs can give you... Throwing bombs can stall you and give you a little bit more control in the air. <laughs> On this episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive... I think I just have the Plague Knight controls on my muscle memory at this point. Okay, for Spectre Knight, we're gonna want Lob Casing. So, Reaper meets Reaper. But you are no kindred spirit. What have you come to harvest, foolish alchemist? Ha 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 ha! If only you could see me yawning under this mask! Oh, spooky ghost! <laughs> A mask indeed, as befits a hollow, blustering fool. You hide only from yourself. How tragic that you shall never emerge from cowardice. From here, your story must end. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye! Yeah, lob casing really helps for that fight. Dance, dance, dance! Yes! <laughs> and we get Spectre Knight's essence. Oh yeah, it's this scene! We can keep watching her dance. <laughs> what? She likes to dance in her spare time. What of it? Hey, hey they, they went to all the trouble to draw all of these sprite dance animations. The least we could do is watch them. Yeah, Mona, you got the moves.
My mom had some of those Just Dance games. Never desired to play them. Aren't we supposed to get an achievement for watching her dance for a really long time? Or did I miss my chance because I partially went down the uh, spinner? There we go, feet accomplished, creep. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Mona! Hey! Mona! What were you doing in here? <laughs> How long were you watching? And you operated my torque lifts unsupervised? I, I, I just dropped in! I barely saw anything! Come on! I'm not some creep! You literally just got an achievement for being in a creep, bro. <laughs> well, I guess the charade is up. Yeah, I dance down here. All the time. By myself. Big deal. By yourself? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Well, whatever. I don't see anyone rushing to join me. I'm used to the solitude by now. Wish I could help you there. But, <laughs> uh, you know, two left feet and all. Yeah, it's no big deal. Anyway. Spectre Knight has given up the ghost! <laughs> Great, I needed to swing by the lich yard and scrape up some ectoplasm later. Fantastic. Your face! You look different. Is something the matter? Silly, I'm smiling. Oh, by the way, take a swig of this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help? And we get a permanent HP, uh, maximum HP increase. What are we working on? Can we research? Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 60 Cypher Coins. Yep, that'll do it. Stand back. Yes! <laughs> Take a gander at your new arsenal. <laughs> we have Orbit Casing. Spins around you and even pierces through walls. We also have Cluster Powder, rapidly forms several explosions, one bomb maximum. Remote Fuse, set bombs and then detonate. We also have Frost Burst, to launch through the air while dropping ice shards below. That one's weird. I will buy the Cluster Powder. I like that. I think I want to buy the Magic Upgrade from the Magicist as well. Hi, Plague Knight. I bet you'd be just, um, stellar at physics. You're good at math, right? Anyway, yes, of course. Uh, you'd like potion? Yes. Alchemy power upgrade, baby! Thank you. You know, one thing that really does it for me? Long hair. Maybe you could take down your hood? Let it all hang out? Anyway, yes, of course. Uh, you'd like potions, wouldn't you? 7500 I don't got that kind of money. Percy, help me out a little bit. My ally, that's free sheets of paper. Oh, dear. <laughs> This'll never do. Why do I put up with this simpleton? Still don't have enough. <laughs> Depending on what powder you use, you can make him spew out different stuff. Probably should be nice to alone, though. Alright, Mona, let's see what we can buy instead. Um, let's buy another one of the bursts. Uh, I'll buy a bullet burst. That can kind of be useful, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, we'll buy the quick fuse. We gotta buy it all eventually, anyways, so... See ya, Mona! Uh, <laughs> I promise I won't e watch you dance creepily again. Maybe. I think we have time for one more level. Ooh! But first... There's money to be had here. Oh boy!
gotta get all that cash! There we go. Get all that money, get all that money! Woohoo! Alright, so we're heading off to the next world. I think we can go to the Explodatorium, which is our home base. Prime your potions! What's up? Ah, oh, jeez, Plague Knight! Ah, uh, we really messed up! You left us in charge, and we failed you! Everything's going haywire, and there's an intruder afoot! Watch out! Oh, you dunces! Do I have to do everything myself? Well, this level's actually a lot easier as Plague Knight. The exploding rats are nowhere nearly as nowhere near as bad, because we can just pull them up from a distance. No! No! No, please! No! This can't be! We can also kill the birds by going in high up enough. No! Money. My one weakness. Fetch me this reward! Oh, that cipher coin is gonna be fun. Actually, never mind. That's the platform that always tried to screw me over as Shovel Knight. I'm just a little strapped for cash. Nothing too big. Part of the reason we're more strapped for cash here than we were as Shovel Knight is because we're not blowing up any of the checkpoints, and also because Plague Knight just has way more stuff to buy. Yay, music note. Oh boy, the next secret area is up ahead. You can see the cipher coin nudged in the wall. weird robo-rabbit things are still weird, though. I was about to be a- um, this better not be a bottomless pit. <laughs> or that would be the pits. One downside to doing the explo- ouch. I was gonna say one downside to doing the Explodatorium as Plague Knight before the other levels is the reward for this level is the worst. Why are my own guys trying to kill me, by the way? Dirk, I heard that you bombed this guy in the Trupal Pond for doing nothing? What the heck? I don't want to work for you anymore. Which, to be honest, that's... based. The problem, though, folks, is getting our money back is gonna be kinda tricky, because we can't just... bomb burst to victory. Maybe we can! I'm not getting that red gem. That red gem is too risky. And I will probably die getting it. I might be greedy, but I know when to cut my losses. Well, 
Why does Plague Knight Stitch have such good music? Oh, hey! Ooh, big fancy chest. The Alchemy Coin! A worthless relic! Really? I feel like for Plague Knight, he might want that Alchemy Coin. Being the alchemist and all, but oh well. We'll sell it to Shovel Knight. He definitely won't use it against us later. I should do. I should stop using all of them. I should use. Oh wait, no, I didn't use all of them. I should stop filling up my H, my HP all the way to ten. It's bad luck. <laughs> do 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 do. About to be like, Wait, there's something over here, though, right? Yes, there is. Ah! <sighs> Let me hit you with my cluster pot. Thank you. You, you got approximate. but definitely apple juice. No question. Pour to the beaker, blah, 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 blah. Nice relic. Here, we can get the Staff of Surging. Rise into the air of a Surging attack. This is probably Plague Knight's worst move that he gets, but eh. It's a living. It's not very powerful. Hitbox is a little weird. It's short range. Not great. Plague Knight is too classy for Kool-Aid. Oh, uh... Dead. Just realized I was very low on HP. Good old turkey can't fix, though. Ah, the birds. That musical note's a lot easier to grab as Plague Knight. Don't have to bother with those pogo shenanigans. Plague Knight's just destroying his own lab, like... <sighs> well, somebody's gotta do it. Get out of my lab! Nobody's allowed in Plague Knight's lab, except Plague Knight. Oh hey! It's the guy who has more HP than the final boss. Not even a joke. This guy literally has more HP than the final boss. Very, very close. Alright, I'm not gonna... Uh, yikes! Oh, where did my bombers go? Alright, 
let's see what we can fish up today. A health tonic. I'm gonna need that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a lot of muns! Now Tem can go to Colleg. I can't believe I did not take damage there. Thank you, sir. I also love how these are still gelatin shovel knights. Excuse me, you have the wrong guy! I'd never use a shovel. We just use dynamite. Blast it away. I believe two more Cypher Coins hidden on this level. Oh no! Oh! No, my money! Oh hey, there they are. I'm not gonna grab them until that guy's out of the way, though. So first off, secret here, the secret lab. Feat accomplished. Get out of my room. This is Plague Knight's personal room. We can jump on the bed. Oh, it's so much fun. Which mask shall we wear today? And also, one of the masks in there is the mask that uh, Plague Knight wears when he fights Shovel Knight. Because we actually are wearing a different mask than what we normally do. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just kind of cool. Plague Knight's got the green double bed with chains on it. It doesn't look particularly comfortable. Alright, down we go. I hear footsteps! Someone's near! <laughs> hey! Leave me alone! Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick! Broom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise, <laughs> it will be enlightening! <laughs> now we have to fight Shovel Knight. Who is an ins- actually kind of a tough fight. He's very unpredict unpredictable. Kind of fights like your average beginner player would, not really knowing what to do. Hey, you're not supposed to have the Warhorn at this point, and he just used his Icor of Renewal. Got all of his health and all of his magic back, but... <laughs> He's down in the pit, he can't really do anything. Oh no! He could. He turned invisible, and he was able to sneak up on me. He can only heal himself once in the fight, though. Oh, boom! And he drops his money, too. <laughs> Give me your essence. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shovel Knight always wins in the end. Darn it! <laughs> I 
and then he goes off to Dreamland. Hee hee hee! Thought you'd get away with your essence, huh? Ha ha ha! Sleeping like a blue baby! <laughs> I love all the stuff they do to make this link up with Shovel Knight's story. I had to stop by the Explodatorium to set my adult brained minions in order. They were attacking me! And you'll never believe who was there wrecking my lab! Um. Shovel Knight? Impossible! You read my mind! I don't know. It's weird. From my limited interaction with him, he just seems to love busting up glassware. <laughs> you did make me play the glassware, uh, breaking game, Mona. <laughs> so, what are we working on? Let's go to the shop. Oh, wow, we got 10,000. You know what? I'd ra I want to get the Magicist upgrade first. Plague Knight, I just love a tall, strong man. Maybe we could brew you, um, some kind of potion to help with that? Anyway, yes, of course, uh, you'd like po- yes. Final alchemy upgrade! Alright, I don't think we can... No, uh, I don't want to buy any more of those health tonics. My ally, two sheets of paper! Sharps, flats, time signatures, what's all this? May I'll just write on the back. Oh, I nearly forgot, as I promised a fitting reward, a romance tip for Sir Percival. The trajectory of a woman's heart is merely a matter of ballistic physics. Solve the equation. How does this musk melon have any luck with romance? <laughs> Percy's just trying to give you a hand, Plague Knight. Don't have to be rude. What do we want? Uh, okay, I don't know what I want. I never actually showed off Bullet Burst, did I? I won't get Orbit Casing. Casings are generally just the best. Orbit Casing is fun, but uh, not super practical. Bounce Casing is just my favorite. Same with Basic Burst. You can't improve on perfection. Ooh, okay. Hang on. I was gonna end the stream there, but we should fight Reese before we do it. <gasps> I thought I heard someone! Hey, you! With the bird mask! I know all about you! You're a legendary alchemist! I'm a hero too, I'll have you know! A hero in training, of course. You look like someone I can trust, so I'll let you in on a huge secret. I have a crush on a girl! You know how to brew love potions, right? How about this? If I can beat you in a friendly sparring match... I don't have time to play around with you, kid! Oh, come on, you big stick in the mud! If you win, I'll... I'll tell you my funniest joke! <laughs> alright, alright, Reese. <laughs> He's a good kid, but, uh... Oh... Perfectly playing around, never mind. Also, this song is low-key like the best battle music in the game. Outside of the Plague Knight battle music. Haha! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That was so much fun! <sighs> well, you beat me fair and square. Guess I'm gonna have to woo my beloved the old-fashioned way. Ah, win some, lose some. Well, whatever. It's telling a joke time! How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles! <laughs> Ten? Ten tickles? Ten tickles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how devious! <laughs> yeah! It's a Rees original! Just remember, Knight's Code, 55th Vow, Murph makes worth. Thank you, Rees. <laughs> that was worth the spar. <laughs> My Plague Knight voice reminds you of Do Dr. Doofadre. Ah, Perry the Platypus! I'm so glad you made it to a Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows! Here I have my alchemy -inator. 
It'll turn every relic into the game into a powerful piece of alchemy! <laughs> but of course, I had to put the self-destruct button on the bottom of it, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> it's similar, just a little bit different. Alright, well... I am now past my hour and a half streaming time, so I think that's a perfect place to end it. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, Saturday, we will be playing more Shadow of the Colossus at 1 p.m. Monday, we'll continue with Plague of Shadows and probably go to the Armor Outpost to begin with. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. Look forward to that next time, everybody. Hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.